today's video is just about five things that you can use in the kitchen that save you money and save you time. Hello, welcome or welcome back if you haven't been with me before. My name is Suzanne. Uh, welcome to Money Made Magic. This is where we look at all things budgeting, um, looking at how we save money, looking at how we manage debt and things like that. But today's video is just about five things that you can use in the kitchen that save you money and save you time. So without further ado, let's go and have a look at the five things that I think are the most useful things that you can have in the kitchen appliance wise. So if you have been with me before, you will know that my kitchen is absolutely minute and tiny. Um, it's probably about the size of uh, a cupboard. <laughs> That's how I feel about it anyway. Um, so I'm just going to talk you through the five things that I think are essential pieces of equipment in this kitchen, both because it's tiny and I haven't got a lot of room to manoeuvre in here, but also they save money and they save time because I'm a really busy person. I have a full time job. I also do other things around that and I need to make sure that I'm well planned when I do my um, cooking. So here we are. Let's go through them one by one. And I think what I'll do, I think is I'll probably save the most useful one till the end. Um, and then we'll look at how much money they can actually save. So I think that'd be really interesting. So the first thing I'm going to take you to is my trusty steed, my slow cooker. Uh, I have had him or her if you want to genderize them um for oh probably about 15 years this one and it's absolutely amazing it comes with a couple of settings so low high and auto and i've got a timer with that so the timer uh, which is a, another device it plugs into a timer device so i can actually fill this slow cooker with food, whatever I'm going to prepare in it, and put it on to come on at a certain time. So if I'm out at work, that is brilliant. So I might set, you know, a, a bolognese sauce, for example, to start at about 11 o'clock rather than it starting at seven when I get up and then it's done too early and, you know, I'm, I've not switched it off. So this can, you know, I can switch things on and switch things off automatically with this, which is amazing. What do I do in this? Um, I make all sorts in it. So I do, as I said, make things like bolognese sauce. I've made uh, just plain ordinary mince to go with a dinner. I've made curries. I made chilies. Um, you can actually do jack of potatoes in here. I've never done that. I've done stews and casseroles, sausage casseroles, and all sorts of things. And for the most part, I just throw the meat and the vegetables in and a little bit of liquid so a little bit of tomato puree a little bit of tomato sauce if it's spaghetti bolognese or um, a little bit of um, water and a little bit of gravy flavoring uh, if it's if it's sort of a mince or something like that or a chicken casserole and uh, it just really is easy um, I think it's a, it's a brilliant piece of equipment um, and I do it to make things like the meat filling for lasagna or moussaka, they go in there. So I do all sorts in that. So the next thing I want to talk about is this um, majestic tower. <laughs> it does look pretty big, doesn't it? It's massive, isn't it? It's great. This is my electric steamer uh, and it comes with a timer, which is down here. So I can set that for whatever uh, time I set it for up to an hour. To steam things uh, and it comes with three tiers so I can do things like put a load of potatoes in one tier some broccoli and some carrots in another and I can even um, you know I can cook um, meat and rice and things like that in there it's got a, a little bit a bit of a sort of a plastic bowl that sits within it so you can cook meat in it or you can cook rice in it um, so you can do a full meal in here really and again with that timer you know, I can um, set that away when I come in from work with my vegetables um, and just press the timer. I can go away and get in the shower, go away and do a bit more work. And then all that food is cooked for me when I'm done. That's an amazing piece of equipment. And the great thing about this is, I don't know whether you've seen me working in my kitchen before, but I have a little problem with my um, cooker. So because my kitchen's really tiny, 
uh, the gas rings so two of the gas rings sit right next to the microwave and unfortunately uh, I find it just a little bit too scary to use the gas on these two rings because they're, too, they're very near the microwave and I'm just frightened in case um, you know anything any damage gets done to the side of it here um, and it's just too difficult to move it around so I tend not to use these two rings so if I want to if I've got something on a pan for example uh, on the gas stove I'm really limited so having this steamer is absolutely amazing the next one uh, that I want to talk about is the blender uh, it's, a, it's just an ordinary blender it's not a juicer it's not anything like sort of fancy but the amazing thing about this is I could do things like I can make a pasta sauce rather than buying a jar which saves me pounds um, I don't know whether you've seen I did make a pasta sauce in this using tin tomatoes and garlic and onion uh, and I blended you know blended it up with some tomato puree and it was absolutely gorgeous and it works the pizza topping but I also used it um, in a I think it was a sausage casserole I had it was just lovely and I've used it since then to flavor things like um, I think I did some turkey mints I don't know whether you've seen the turkey mints I might not have posted that so this is amazing it also does milkshakes and smoothies I've done smoothies in there so it processes all of the the berries and you, you know mixes all of your your milk or your ice cream or whatever you're putting in and I also puree soups in there so I might make a soup and I like my soups nice and smooth so I, when the soup's done I put it all into this blender so I love that it has got the dial on it let's see it has got two speeds and a reverse which is amazing uh, so I absolutely love that and the jug actually comes off let me just show you so the jug actually comes off completely and that jug will actually serve to stand in the fridge you know with you with your smoothie or whatever you've got to keep it for a day or so so you're not having to decant that into something else right away unless you're going to use your uh, your blender again and it's got two different lids so you can open that a bit if you want to just get something in and stir but this there's a bit that's got a pourer so if you can see it's got a nice lip on it there so you can pour from that as well so i love that number four is this old thing <laughs> Um, this is, I guess, generation one of air fryers. I know um, air fryers look very different today and you can do much more in them. But this is my old one. I've had it quite a long time. I would love one of the new ones. But being on a budget, you know, I'm not going to invest in one straight away. I might see if the birthday fairy brings one. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But this is great. It's circular. It does. It has a pan inside. Let me just open it and show you. Uh, so the pan inside that comes up and you can lift that in and out uh, and I do things like chips or garlic potatoes in there I've done sweet potato fries in there before um, I've done a stir fry in there actually that worked really well and you know if you, you, you if you cut up sausages you can actually do a, like a sort of a sausage stir fry type thing they go quite well in there as well um, so it, it, it's not a bad piece of equipment to have it's nice and easy just to, to throw in uh, some potatoes um, and you know make a few chips or, or potato wedges and you don't have to put a lot of oil in you only put a teaspoon of oil in so you are saving yourself from having a lot of fats and things and they come out delightful they come out really nice so I like that that's that's number four and last but not least is the microwave you know what I think they're so underrated and so underused so lots of people just use the microwave to defrost things um, and just sort of warm up ready meals I don't I've made all sorts in there I've made stews I've made chilies so let's say I'm batch cooking and I might have a chili in the slow cooker over there so I might decide I'm going to put a curry in the microwave so very much like the slow cooker I put all the ingredients in um, and then I just stir it up and microwave away um, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to make something like a stew or a casserole in there um, and it does really well so I do those I do my jack of potatoes in there and then finish them off to crisp them in the oven for a few minutes um, I've cooked rice in there uh, that's a really handy thing to do when you've not you know you're limited with your, your 
stove rings um what else have i done in there i've made cakes in there you might have seen i've made little cake muffins in a mug um and that's a really a nice thing to do as well um what else do i do in there um, and obviously i use it to warm up soup and beans and things like that as well that's that's handy and all the usual things like defrosting um but you can do all sorts of things in it so never never underestimate underestimate the power of the use of the microwave um i think uh, that's probably my i don't know I don't, I don't know which one i'd choose um the microwave's the oldest the microwave this microwave's oh goodness me i don't know how old i've had it a long time it feels anyway so that's my five um top appliances for a tiny kitchen for a busy kitchen um to save money you know for a budget kitchen there they all are so those are my five favorite items in the kitchen my favorite gadgets i just want to talk you through how much the um sort of the cost compared to conventional um ovens and hobs and things so bear with me i may need to just look at my notes because i had to write a few things down but without a doubt they all save money the first thing was the slow cooker and according to my research, that uses um, 10 times less than an electric oven would use. It costs about 25 pence per hour to run an average slow cooker. That's about £1.25 for a full five hours, which is probably average in terms of what you would need to, to use it for in terms of the time. And an electric oven uh, is costing around 85 pence an hour. So you can see the difference, you know, you're looking at sort of four to five pounds. Four to five pounds just to, to have your oven on for that length of time. That's a lot of money, isn't it, when you think about it? Um, the advice is you do have to be a little bit careful in what you cook in the slow cooker because if you put something in that would cook quickly in the oven, you may just want to use the oven. But for the most part, it is cheaper and much more convenient. You're not having to stand and wait for your oven to turn off. Um, you can leave it on while you go out or get on with your daily jobs, which is a massive advantage for me. The second thing I showed you was my steamer. Um, and according to my research, it costs something as like as little as 71 pence to cook a full meal. So if you put everything in that steamer, as I said, you can cook potatoes, vegetables. I've done a chicken breast in there before. I've done rice in there before. Um, that can cost as little as 71 pence because you're cooking everything together on your electricity and it doesn't use an awful lot of power to actually steam the water and the water cooks the food that it steams. The blender is not really um, saving money on energy in the house but what it does do is it saves money on things that you might have purchased. So in the past I used to buy jars of um, tomato sauce to put in to things like bolognese and I don't do that anymore. Um, they would cost between two and three pounds depending on which brand that you bought. Maybe a little bit cheaper some of the brands. But using a tin of tomatoes which would cost you perhaps around 40, 45 pence depending on where you bought it from. And adding an onion and some garlic and a little teaspoon of sugar. I'm going to guess that it's going to cost me about 70 pence or something to make a lovely rich tomato sauce which I can cook pasta with or I can use in a casserole or bolognese or I can put it as a, on as a pizza base so that's where you save your money with your blender the air fryers I said it's now uh, advice is saying it costs around 85 pence an hour to heat an oven so with the air fryer that costs only 51 pence to do something similar so you're saving about 30 pence 34 pence an hour or something with that and with your microwave if you cooked something for five minutes in the microwave as opposed to cooking for five minutes on the hob you will save about two pence per five minutes again another great saving it all adds up um, you know if you did that every day for a week or a month you know you could add that up yourself and work out how much that would be I hope you found that useful please leave me a message in the comments if um, you use any of those appliances if you've got similar ones if you think they save you money if they save you time in your busy day i'd love to hear that i'd love to know also which other appliances you use that help you 
um, save money or save time that would be really helpful so i hope you've enjoyed that little video it's been lovely seeing you again i have had a little bit of time off from making videos this this last couple of weeks just been a couple of things going on uh, with the family that i've needed to see to um, but i'm back and it's good to be back so let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed that and i hope to see you next time bye for now <laughs>